Well done, the band. We're all bursting with pride after our girls' basketball elementary zone, Lady Pumas. Uninvited! Woohoo! No, no team. team. Oh, I guess I just have to give you all an hour of free play. No one cancels my free play. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's okay. <laughs> Uh. Oh. <gasps> oh. And on a student, you have crossed a line. Nurse, get a slap kit. Right away, sir. In all my usages, they'll get the message. Rest assured, Mrs. Simpson, that we have a zero tolerance policy for this sort of thing. But I moved it up because I, I like the way you torment Skinner. Oh, so. I, I still get my check? Every workday, you'll report to a school board holding facility. An educational limbo, as it were, where you... ...till the school board decides what to do with them. You show up here every day, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Shoes remain on... Like that, wouldn't you? The only thing I'd like more is if I could quit. Well, I'm not quitting. I'm staying here till you give me my... Now, before I leave, let me turn on this malfunctioning air conditioner. Is that ice? Uh, no, no, they're spider eggs. Oh, oh. He's a science teacher. He'll know what to do. Caused enough trouble. You shouldn't suffer for my bad deed. It should just go unpunished forever. <laughs> what else do you want to talk about? Meet me in the bathroom. Check this out, a dead possum. Mrs. K? I'm here to spring you. Well, that's kind of you. Especially after I nearly choked the life out of you. You didn't believe me. Oh, you made a dummy of me? Mm, I use it to workshop my pranks. Mm, I don't know about this. I can't believe a middle-aged woman is scared of a three-story drop. I'll show you who's me. Ah! Ah! Introduced. Anywho. So I don't commit the deadliest of sins? Omission? Here's my card. Oh, I like how it's printed in orange. Mm. Uh, so, uh, we were talking about why you decide puppy dog tails. And what about that father? Homer? <laughs> yeah, he's the peanut and dance line. I'll bet your wife doesn't like it. Oh, I'm afraid my Marty's putting plastic on the clouds now. Oh, you... Oh, uh, where's your husband buried? Probably between the hooters of a coat check girl in Shelbyville. Ha! Oh, boy. Name would lead you to believe. Crossing it off my do not go list. Mm hmm. Well, sir, I guess I better re fantasy oh, Slow down. I never go to second entendre on the first date. Oh, <laughs> oh. Good news, Edna. The governor crushed the teachers' union, so you don't have to stay here anymore. Now I can just fire you. Mm. Getting sprung really made me feel like celebrating. Let's see what you're hiding under this sweater. Uh, you know, uncomfortable with premarital sex. Oh, come on, Ned. We've both been married before. I'm well worth the wait. You're like a mild cheddar. I get tangy when I'm sitting on the shelf. Okay, I'll try. Episode 17, Munster. Oh, what the heck? I know it's impolite to make a move till episode... <laughs> it's peanut... Days, strike days, half day afternoons, and all summer long. By the way, you forgot to bring home your math worksheet. It's... See? <laughs> Hang on, wait a minute. No! Oh! <laughs> Little help? <sighs> Little help? <laughs> night, night. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. Don't you humiliate me in front of my kid. <laughs> That's a burn on you, Flanders. <laughs> Pretty f- what?
Hummer, do you know how lucky you are? Ned is a wonderful, caring man and a darn good man around. What? <laughs> Don't do that, homie. It rubs off your side hair. <laughs> and I'll just take my tumbleweed back. See, Dad? Having Kabapo next door is nothing. I'll take Flanders out and remind him of the joys of the single life. You scare Rod and Todd by telling them Kabapo will be coming. this place great? If you're single, you can come here every night. I don't want to come here. Last time I did, someone slipped its cut to the chase. Yeah, let me guess. You're probably going to do something boneheaded like trying to talk me out of seeing Edna. Ned, if it's boneheaded... Have a sweet woman of my own lying in a twin bed across the hall from mine. Someone to hold the other end of the sheet when I fold on my secret Christian underpants one leg at a time. <laughs> oh, you be I Give me that shirt. I patched a hole in the armpit. <laughs> Bottom of my heart, I wish you and Edna the best. Fellow barflies, to Ned Flanders and Edna Krabappel. During English class, and you don't want to know what we did in the multipurpose room. Shut up. My email address is Ed. Yep, that's me. And after a night with Edna, I couldn't walk this way, that way, or any other way. Ooh la. Frankenstein. Well, Homer, you really put one over on old stupid Flanders here. Thanks a lot, neighbors. I can't believe you could be so cruel. Especially you, Joey Kramer. Fifty? What does sound like a lot to you? What exactly are we talking about here? Uh, maybe we should just... Hey, I shall be discreet in my tweets, but brutal in my blog. We made love in so many elevators. Whoa, 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 whoa. No leaving until we all spook you on Edna's face. All right, pipe down back there. You'll get it. I'm actually not. Well, there's Ned out on his power walk. Maybe you should talk to him. What? Mm. <laughs> Flanders, <laughs> hold up! I know. It's by forgiving. Endless, endless forgiving. Chocolate <laughs> eggs. Maybe you and Edna can find a way to make it work. <laughs> a lot of time to think. You've been with a lot of men, but I forgive you. Proud. I still wear your bra. Well, not exactly proud, but I'm stuck. So we're going to let the internet decide. Should Ned and Edna stay together? Visit thesimpsons.com. Super friends with Wonder Pets, all designed to distract you while we take your personal information and use it to apply for credit. They're all there. Only it was Maggie. Yeah, right. A baby shot a guy. Ugh, just... <laughs> Millhouse, watch me make a loser. What the... <laughs> Suffering Steve Ditko! How can you not know that Spider-Man conditioned copies are like $40,000 each? Must lie down on pile of unsold Hulk hair. Oh, from Marvel DC Imager Wildstorm. It was a typical day for delivery man Avery Man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fat guy beating it like an egg. Yeah, he's scrambling like an egg. Every superhero whose comic book he touches. Power absorption flying fat, so keep robbing. Good afternoon, gentlemen. <laughs> Man powered. Absorb! <laughs> You made this? Shut up! No one is interested in the critical judgment of a worthless child. Action! Got out and would be ridiculed by the online community. Son of Son of Spock, the Dork Knight, I killed Kenny 6475, who, uh, just 335, including the controversial number 289, featuring the death of Marmaduke. Ah, still waters run deep. So rich! Franchise, come on. You want an original idea? Yes, let your imaginations run free. Something that's never been a movie. Here we go. I've watched all the DVDs in the Bentley. Jonah, what's that in your hand? Oh, big surprise that you don't know what. Marv, ginormous pictures bought the rights to every man three weeks ago. Damn it! We a gin. Gah, fall. Hey, don't blame us. Brett Ratner had final cut. And what aware of who had what cut to pick the actor who will play every man. No can do.
Thank you. But we never give a bit hardball with Hollywood. The closest I will ever come to playing a sport in my life. Well, that was great. You want to see it any other way, like Sad or Brooklyn or Richard Nixon? Oh, don't you latte sipping leeches understand? I've seen enough of these Hollywood super hunks. We need a. You. Happen to them today, Lisa? Well, I qualified for the National Math Beat. Great. Marge, go. Guess who the Garden Club... <laughs> Some Hollywood idiots hired me to star in a movie. Whoop. No. No. But we have a bigger problem. Homer, my brother and I showed this picture of you to a cross section. Down, muscle up, and become the everyman people want to be, instead of the one they actually are. I don't know if I can. I'm a yo-yo... Finally, the answer to my problem. What do you do? He's the trainer to the stars. Here's what you do. Goodbye, fat me. You sure that guy who created Everyman's gonna like this? Him? He's gone Hollywood. Child and the story. Hello, Prius. Give daddy a kiss. Mm. Your mouth. Yeah, well, you don't always have time to... I'm gonna teach you healthy emotional alternatives to eating. We... <laughs> <sighs> this is finally a pickup truck full of chickens, and I get out of the truck and go thank the driver, but then I see the driver is a chicken? Let's just skip ahead a month. Cider House rules! Total wuss! Sea Biscuit, you keeping off the sugar cubes? I hate it. He totally sucks. I'm only lying to him. Goodbye! Bad bye. Was that Toby? And sexy. Mm. Heroic. Uh, sexy? Ooh. Heroic and sexy. <laughs> Heroic in America for giving me the patriotism to want to save the president's life. And thank Wonder Woman for giving me... ...one's working on it. <laughs> Cut! Terrific! Bring in the next helicopter. Is it full of free sneakers and watches, and I get to hire my friend. At least you get to see my face, unlike Carl. Homer Sapien, can I have a word with you? I know this is a bad time, but I'm leaving for another gig. Is that all? The only people who can stay thin are those who can afford $5,000 a week nutritional consultants. I have taught you well. He's gone. Mmm, it's bad luck to eat an even number of cheese cubes. <laughs> Don't look at me! You, you watch! Cut! This is a disaster. <laughs> Nick, Nick. Ah, here we are. A delightful buttermilk from 1961. Oh, 61. Everyone. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Clean up in aisles three, two, one. Ugh. This film is an embarrassment of Jarjarian Magni- Hollywood ponytail yank. <laughs> Ooh, I think we have a clunker here. And I should know. I produce bad... All along. Half the shots he's fat, half the shots he's thin. It's taking me out of the moment, like when you're kissing a girl and she burps. Who is it? To get back into the business after I had my kids. Yeah, well now those kids have an embarrassment for a mother. I can take it. <laughs> okay, it was Turtle from Entourage. I then, leave you again. Then, come back and train you. It's how I make my money. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Look, comic book guy, about the movie, we know- Whoa. You would let me direct Everyman 2, Rise of the Revenge? 
Absolutely. All you have to do is a lifelong dream. And I was one of the few who saw that dream realized on screen last night. There is one fault. Though legislation was passed to ensure every man was never seen on screens again, he